Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 23. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today we're going to be starting off with the 125cc competition model series. And, um, oh, we got to take the Yamaha TZ125. Uh, yeah, so we don't have anything else. Let's have a look and see if we can find it. Uh, so let's go to the garage. Very posh. Uh, so we are looking for the Yamaha... Where is it? Uh, TZ125. I'm guessing if we use displacement as well, we can work it out. This one, TZ125. Oh my gosh, that thing is tiny. The entire weight of the bike is 72 kilos. I find that hard to believe. I really do. But whatever. So we're going to be taking... No, I don't want to do that. The uh, TZ125. For three races in the 125cc competition model series. Let's go. So we're going to be starting off with Sakuba Circuit for five laps. Moving on to Suzuka West course. And then the entire of the Twin Ring Mategi. Let's go. Right, we are here at the Sakuba Circuit for five laps with this Yamaha TZ125. Obviously, it's a like-for-like -like competition right now. And surprisingly, this bike's quite quick, but I'm worried about that 80 kilogram weight. That this bike is just going to be insanely light and difficult to ride. But uh, so far, it's not too bad. It is obviously a racing bike as well. Very nice. Get around here, switch over for the Sakuba corner. Awesome. I forgot that Dunlop was like a massive sponsor of Sakuba. Somehow, I've got to get um, distance on these guys. Awesome. Unbelievable. Perfect. Made a recovery, but that... The other bike just pushed me off so far off course. Six seconds behind. We're probably slightly more than that now. No, five seconds. Interesting. Let's see if we can catch up and get that, uh, get that uh, second place. This is going to be the shortest of all of the races. Because the next one's longer and the last one's even longer. There we go. Trying to get some ground here. Ba -dum, ba -dum. We lost 0.4 seconds to first place. How did we lose so much time in that section? We definitely gained time through there though. Guaranteed. Yeah, look at that. Insane amount of time. We now have two laps to catch up to first. And not crash. 
come on. Nice. Always very wobbly. Come on, we need this position. Something tells me we're going to get a second place and we can't catch up with first. It will be a very good push. We need some amazing racing right now. The fact that everyone's in the same bike. I thought it would have been like the T-Max, but um, no. This is a push and a half. Ah, uh, horrendous. We are catching up. Come on, this would be an amazing overtake for the final. Ah, uh, we messed up. That's it. Ah, oh, second place. It was that AI bike at the start that ruined it for us. Unbelievable. Second place. How? That's physic. That was so difficult, though, to try and get anywhere near that. Unbelievable. We'll take six points for now, but we have to win the next two races. Right, we are now here at the Suzuka West course, a ever so slightly longer and easier to manoeuvre track, definitely. And hopefully, we'll have more of a chance of getting into first place. Sakuba, there just wasn't enough distance to catch up for us. So hopefully, we can get a first place round here. That would be awesome. Well, we need it. Because currently, the first place bike is the bike that came first place last time. You have to come first in the majority of races to actually, like, win a championship in this game. Unlike Gran Turismo 4. We're only three seconds behind as well. Sakuba had us eight seconds behind. I feel like Sakuba was trying to mess with us. Look at this, we're already catching up. Awesome. Tiny little bike. This bike is tiny though. It's insanely small for a bike. Right, that was a decent first lap. I will take it. Maxing out at 130 miles an hour. Oh, nearly lost complete control there. Managing to keep a good grip on the situation, though.
Awesome. We got a really good exit out of that corner there. Look at the speed that we're catching up with the other biker. Oh, no. Lost it. Ah, uh, unbelievable. There is now a large gap between us now. A gap that I don't want there to be. We've definitely not got a fastest lap this time. Not at all. Nice. I really want to go to, like, Japan and go around Tsukuba and Suzuka. It would be amazing. And if I could take, like, a skyline round there as well. Oh, my gosh. That would be, like, a dream come true. To be able to drive around Suzuka, the full track, with a fucking skyline. An R34. Or an R32. Ah, oh, that would just be amazing. Nice. Awesome. Right, we have caught up a substantial amount. Awesome. Very nice. Didn't lose control through that corner. Right, we are catching up, but hopefully we don't do what we did before, where we fell off the corner, the hairpin corner. Because uh, that would, one, be awkward, and two, ruin my race. No win for me, that would be. That's very good so far, though. No. Perfect. Nice. This is awesome. Nice. We got one more lap left. And we are catching up big time to first place. But we need this first place now. Else we will not be getting the championship. And that was a sketchy corner there. Got a much better exit out of both of these corners. There we go. We're in the lead. At least we didn't have to overtake on a corner this time. Or on a fast corner. What was that? That was so close to throwing us off. I would have been big time annoyed if that happened. Yeah, you stay back. 
You go wide and you mess up. Don't try and mess me up. Ridiculous. Awesome. Coming towards the finish line. Let's get this W. Awesome. Little bit of a show off weave at the end. But that is good. 7 minutes 53.8. Much, much longer that race. And the next one is going to be twice as long. Because we're going to be going around the Twin Ring Mategi. One of my favourite circuits, guaranteed. But uh, there we go. It is now 16 points joint first and joint third for 8 points. Awesome. Let's go to the next race. Right, here we go. We are at the Twin Ring Mategi Road Course. This is the full track. And this is going to be a nice track. And there is a massive gap between bikes. Wow. So we have five laps to catch up with at first place. Hopefully we can get at least one bike on the first lap, one bike on the second. But we need to overtake that first place bike to get the win. Rubbish corner there, but I can never take that corner very well. Always overshoots it. Always. So we've got eight seconds. That's about two seconds per lap if I don't mess up. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, we're going to have to gain now two and a half seconds per lap at least. Try not to overtake on corners because it's not ideal in this game. Yeah, it's now nine seconds. That's not something I want. Much late, uh, much earlier on the uh, throttle means we can get a very tasty overtake. With a 7.7 .7 second difference to first place. Losing some time there. Awesome. It's going to be more than 7 seconds though. Oh, just a little bit more. But that is a fairly decent amount of time for that lap. A decent lap time and on track to gaining all that time back and overtaking first place. So I think um, my reference point is just going to be the 100 meter board. I think that is going to end up being my reference point is a 100 meter board on that corner. Because the fact that there's no uh, gear reference that pops up quick enough for that corner is a little bit of a problem. Oh, very nice. You can see us gaining very quickly there. Five seconds now. Uh, 
Let's see how much speed we can get on the exit. Can we get some time as well and distance? Well, we can definitely get time. 0.7 seconds. Oh, not a great exit there. And that is lap number two completed. What is our time going to look like? Definitely faster than the last lap. But more time gap between us now. Much larger gap. Uh, a little bit before the 100 meter board. I went too early. Bugger. Trying to gain as much time as possible, but I'm pushing myself too far. I see the bike. I think it's such a shame that... Oh, that was close. Uh, I was going to say, I think it's such a shame that the twin ring is not in Gran Turismo Sport. It is such a shame. Awesome. Ah, uh, this isn't great though. We're gaining time, but we're losing so much as well. We haven't gained any time that entire lap. I'm stuck behind this bike as well. There we go. I can now gain my own distance and not worry about a bike being in front of me. Four seconds, so we need two seconds per lap. That was amazing. Perfect. Loads of speed through there. Two point three seconds, which means we gain one point seven seconds in that entire start section there. No! No! That's it! Game over! There's no way I can recover from that! I failed! That's half an hour wasted! Right, we're gonna have to push. We may have one chance. One more crash, that's it. One, two, three and a half seconds. Okay, that was very close. That was bang on three and a half seconds. Oh, this is going to be stressful. That was amazing, that corner.
Come on, let's do this. 2.6 seconds. Oh, come on, come on. This is going to be so close. Awesome. Look how much time we just gained by that late break in there. This is so close. I've ruined it. I've lost it. No! Oh, wait, they've gone wide. One second. That was a good exit. Come on. Oh shit. Oh, oh. Have we done it? Have we done it? Yes. Oh my days. The final corner. Down to the final corner. Holy shit. That was a championship down to the final corner as well. Ten points for us. That crash made that the most intense final race you will ever see. Maybe not maximum 30 points. But we did get... We did get the championship win. I'm out of breath now. I held my breath for 30 seconds for that final section. Whew. That was crazy. And there we go. We got ourselves some riding gear now, which is awesome. A helmet. Ah, fair enough. Do we get the bike as well? Yes. So it's not the uh, you have to get all gold rule like uh, Gran Turismo 4, which is pretty cool. Because uh, the all, all gold rule is a little bit tedious to get uh, vehicles on that. But that's pretty cool. There we go. The RG250 Gamma from Suzuki. And I think this bike definitely deserves a special number one as well. For getting that insane finish around the twin ray. I'm taking that number one. And sticking it right on my bike there. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like